Yo, welcome back guys. We've got an image sent in from Victorious. Editing this one, turning it into this one here. So she's been nice enough to supply the raw image and I'm gonna do my best to look at the edit she has put on Instagram and try to recreate her exact edit and settings within Lightroom. So just by looking at her Instagram, there's a real strong fade in the blacks and shadows. There's a real use of the yellows and oranges. And you can tell there's a cap off to those whites and highlights so we're gonna have to do a nice s curve in the shadows and highlights so yeah the big takeaways from this one will be the curves adding a bit more yellows into the midtones and yellows into the highlights and then there's obviously quite a few warm tones placed in the shadows with split toning as well and then a really nice natural texture to the image so her links will be down in the description if you like her style I definitely recommend going to her bio link and then she's got a blog presets if you like her style and she's also going to be part of my course in the guest editor section so if you guys want access to the raw image and her teaching you guys how she edits you'll have to sign up to my course instagram pro editor but i'm also going to be getting a lot more creators i'm going to be trying to get 100 plus so huge value there guys if you get in early because it's currently 50 percent off and over the next few years i hope to really really grow this into the number one resource for travel photo editing let's get into this edit okay let's quickly go through through this edit so uh, let's come down profile corrections make sure that's ticked to get us started and then yeah this is her screenshot off instagram raw image here so for shot 18 to get it really wide 3.5 for a bit of depth of field to get the background a bit in focus but then the subject really pop and then enough detail in the background and then a low iso because it is pretty bright and then a uh, very fast shutter speed just to expose it properly okay so the first thing I would do when trying to replicate this edit is just start with a curves preset so I want something with a strong fade yet there is quite a bit of contrast so those blacks are kind of deep and I came over here and pretty sure I applied curves fade five and then just yeah really strong fade there yet there is still a lot of contrast so I went with that curve and if we just go back and then I made some tweaks to it so if I just take you through it I made some tweaks to it like a bit more blue in the highlights and yeah just some tweaks and I'll probably talk about that a bit later so I started with this curve and then bounced between uh, exposure and curves here so let's do what we need to do up, up here in the sliders so we obviously need to bring up those blacks so blacks uh, then we just have too much contrast and you really flatten it out let's bring that all the way down and then let's do a bit more exposure shadows down um, overall exposure and those blacks can come back a lot the idea is to get a smooth transition of blacks to shadows to highlights to whites so like if my shadows were too high, you can see there that just doesn't look natural. So smooth transition. Okay, so her images have a lot of depth to them. So I thought maybe I would do some dehaze in this one. So you can see how that sort of, it sort of replicates bringing down the highlights a lot. And so yeah, I brought it up. It adds a bit of contrast to the image. And then just a slight bit of softness to the image, I might go with uh, clarity minus three so you can see that we've got pretty similar fade and exposure now so like the fade i judge by i can see those strands are here and then by the time it gets over here you can't see anything it's just a fade and it's sort of what i've tried to do over in my one here as well so as i was playing with these sliders i would come down here and make some tweaks as well down here just trying to match up the same amount of fade i can see so i just delete and see how we lose that fade now and let's just bring it back there's that little bit of shine in the dark areas there that's what i wanted okay so exposure is looking pretty good and then in the curves here i pretty much ran with the preset i applied but as you can see it's just a typical s curve there's a bit more green in there and then there's maybe a bit more blue in the highlights so there's not a massive color shift here at all mainly the colors will come from split toning so let's do split toning right now okay so she's got an obvious really warm color to the shadows you can see how warm her image is so let's put a nice orange in there okay that's a good amount 
and then to complement or to balance those really warm tones just put a little bit of blue in the highlights okay and she's got a real texture to her images so i'm just going to do the grain now and because it can kind of throw off your eye when you're trying to spot these colors okay so grain i'm going to go with about 30 and then quite a bit of size to that grain okay so i reckon that gives us the texture we want you can really see the grain either if you look in the whites skin tones or the, the fade there. That's where you can really see the texture really obviously. She might have used a texture overlay as well, like a gritty texture overlay. You can see like little, like it's like a strand of hair or something. And you can see just like these little, that little circle there, uh, little specks. That's a texture overlay onto the image that you'd maybe apply on an app on your phone or over in Photoshop. So she's added extra texture that way, but there's definitely a lot of grain as well. Okay, let's come back up we want to drop our tones so our tones just look a little too vibrant let's drop them and then saturation as well let's just give that a drop then let's bring up some real obvious ones we want okay so she's got really strong yellows really strong oranges and we definitely for this image need to bring out those blues a lot so we should get pretty close once we're done with hsl to finishing this edit yellows and then her red dress stands out quite a bit. We'll just do a little bit of red there. Um, purple, not really. Greens. So I'm going to bring them down a lot. You'll see that the greens have a lot of yellow to them. Every single green in this image pretty much just has a lot of yellow. So I'm going to go for bringing up the yellows and keeping the greens down. As you can see, like the spot here, no yellows affect it but um, it is very desaturated in her image. Okay, so we'll run with that. Okay, so hue, usually I'm bouncing between hue and saturation and stuff like that. So I'm not just gonna finish saturation or finish hue and then move on to saturation. It's always a bouncing between multiple tools. Let's go with the reds. So I think it's the reds because if I shift the oranges, let's match up the dress. So if we wanna match, the dress i'd say we need to work with the reds but you can see how the reds kind of affect skin tone as well let's go with the reds to match up the dress and then oranges they're starting to look a little too yellow and that's because our skin tones also have a little bit of red in them and we just made our reds a bit orange let's go this direction okay so we've probably got a lot of yellows as well let's shift our yellows to more of an orange this definitely helps get that really warm vibe you can see how that affects our skin tones also a little bit and then we look a little too brown to our trees and stuff and greens even though you take out the saturation a hundred percent there's still gonna be some greens in there so i'm gonna bring them back just so we get a bit of a natural color to those greens because especially if you look at this uh, lemon she's holding the leaves they're very natural green they're not very warm like we've done with the yellows here so i know i need to keep some of those really natural uh greens in there so let's shift this this way and can see what that does to the leaves there Okay, so as for the blues, like we want to bring out the blues a lot. As you can see, we've brought up saturation heaps, but we still can't get the same amount of blue as what she has. So what we're going to have to do is come in with some brushes to brush over the water. She might have used a filter or something, but I've already placed these for the purpose of the tutorial. So this one, if I press O, shows you exactly where it's affecting. So I'm trying to just bring out the blues. So you can bring up saturation. And then what you could do, I'm, I'm not sure if she did this because it does look quite natural, the water, the texture, um, or the contrast of the water. I'm just going to bring up the dehaze and that's going to really help bring out those colors as well and then i just don't want it to look too contrasty and harsh the water i want to keep it nice and soft let's drop the clarity right and then i just did another one because i wanted to bring out more colors in this area of the image so if I press o again that's where this one's affecting so pretty much the same i'm gonna bring up the color you touch more dehaze see how i'm just bringing in a bit bit more color in that area and then temperature minus two and that's just gonna bring in the touch more blues there okay so uh, one thing uh, filter down the bottom here 
So what we want to do is just darken the bottom and that's just going to help frame our subject, bringing our eye up towards the subject. So we'll go with that done okay so let's come back to luminance i think like especially our subject she's got way more of a shine to her skin tone and the image maybe lacks a little bit of pop so i'm gonna come to the luminance and there's a chance that she brushed over herself and up the exposure but there's also a chance that she brought up the luminance for some of these colors so for her dress especially i think really stands out and our orange don't oranges don't affect the dress that much so i'm thinking reds let's bring up lumens the reds that gives a really good shine to our subject i think possibly bringing up the luminance of the yellow slightly just a bit now it's just going to give a bit of a pop I think there is a lot more brightness down uh, in her image along those greens and especially those leaves as well. Right, so we'll just give a little bit, not too much. And then we'll just match up the tones of our blues a bit better. Like we, have, we need more purples or deep blues. So aquas, uh, that's going to affect our lighter blues a bit more. I want those deep blues, I'd say. Let's go this direction for deep blues. And then I want those teals, so we'll use the aquas for the teals. Okay, I think that looks good. I don't actually think she might have done it this way. Let's go back to the brush. I just think, like, we're bringing in this purple back there. And that's because there's a little bit of blue uh, back there. So if I just show you, I just play with the blue and see how it affects the mountains up there. Uh, unless she's corrected that with a brush and like taken a lot more time to do it I'm not sure if she would have done that. So brush. I think her water just looks so much more smoother So I might tr see what happens if I just remove the dehaze a bit Maybe Let's just keep it there, but I think she might have used a filter or just taken her time a bit more I think it's just not looking that smooth if I drop the sharpening Few too many purples creeping in um, we could shift it back and then we get a few too many teals um looks all right if you're ever in this situation you can just brush over all these area all this area and say you don't want that purple uh, if you hold option click reset here resets your brush uh, you can just add in green green is the opposite of purple or magenta and you can balance that back out maybe a touch more teals or purples so you can see up the top left it's a bit brighter so i might just up the highlights a bit and the whites a bit i'm pretty happy throughout the whole image like how much brightness there is um it's just this top left that i'm not too sure about so what i might do is just do a little bit of a filter option reset the filter affect the inside and then maybe just do some exposure. Um, and you can see is like, I'm bringing it up as much as I can. And it's not, I think right in the corner, hers is a touch brighter, but I'm bringing it up four stops. Like that's a lot, but I can't get it as bright as hers just there. It's only a very small difference. But if I just do this, and the reason I can't get it any brighter is because I'm capping it off with the whites here. So let's just bring that up a bit and see how that gets brighter. Um, we definitely want to be able to see the outside of our image against the white background. You can see it doesn't really affect any other part of the image but the top right. So might be a good idea to bring that up. And then back to this, let's just bring it up a touch. Uh, yeah, um, there's maybe too much brushing on the water in that, but I won't worry too much about that. You just be, just take your time when you do the brushing and stuff like that. Okay, so you've probably got a few questions about the curves, like I kind of skipped over them before. There's a lot to explain here, but I am sort of bouncing between all the tools, tweaking the curves now and then. So like one tweak I did was uh, these curves when I applied them, there was not enough yellow in this area of the image and i'd already put a lot of yellow in with the the shadows the split turning but this area just didn't have enough of uh yellow in it so just top of the ledge here so what i did i was just like um okay so it's about that bright that's a highlight 
So I came in, I was like, what's the opposite of yellow? It's blue. Let's take a bit of blue out. You can see how much more yellow we get in that area there. So before it was like this. I got plenty of warmth in my shadows, but like, why am I not getting enough warmth in like this area of the image? So pull out a bit of blue and it will introduce a bit more warmth into that area. And then I did a few other tweaks, like I wanted quite a few yellows in the mid-tones. So a bit more greens here. Greens help with that. And then also when I first applied this preset, there was too many reds in the blacks. And that's because it was something like that. And you can see how there's just like a lot of red there now. And we sort of just want the color black or like no color at all or just the color that was put in with the split turning. So I pulled out a bit of red out of the black stick and see how it looks a bit more natural. Okay, and that's just the sort of tweaks I made throughout this edit with the curves there. Uh, it's, just, it's just a lot to dive into if I tell you exactly why for every single uh, change in the curve there. Um, that's why I go over it in my course to make sure you guys understand it all. Okay, so I'm about happy with that. Remember, take your time when you're brushing. I think the water isn't exact. I've got a few too many purples up in the mountains and stuff there. Yeah, otherwise we're pretty close. She might have done a big filter coming in from the left here and then made sure it wasn't affecting her to bring in all those blues into the water. Uh, we'll just leave it there, guys. Here is our before. Okay, so that wraps up this tutorial, guys. If you guys have any questions about the course, just message me over on Instagram. I've got a page for the course where you can see little bits, little insides, little behind the scenes of the course and just little videos that explain to you guys what the course is like, how much value it is, people's testimonials about the course and stuff like that. So there'll be a link over to my Instagram page for my course down in the description. Go follow that if you're interested. And if you head over to my page on my website, there's a free lesson. It's a really good lesson on color because no one really teaches you about color on YouTube. And this is definitely an essential lesson that you guys should watch if you really want to start to learn how to edit photos. But yeah, comment down below guys, who you guys want to see on this channel. So you, you'll comment their Instagram handle down in the description. And then I'll reach out to them on Instagram, ask them to send in a photo. Then I'll do a tutorial on them. It's been awesome having you guys uh, really commenting and yeah thanks for watching guys